We're only caretakers. We can't, we can't see you own anything. <laughs> you can't own the land. You know that the land belongs to the trees. Palagio is an ideal creative place. You feel like being creative here. I like to get up really early in the morning. Just jump in the pool. I'll read the papers. Then I'll go in my studio and I practice. Roxanne. You don't have to put on the red light. It wasn't our intention to become winemakers. Uh, we just wanted a house. We liked the house. But it came with a, a vineyard that was run down. We decided one day that we'd invest some time and money in the vineyards. It took us a few years, but after about five years, we started to get good reviews for our wine. Trude and I are husband and wife, best friends. She also runs this estate. Most important thing my father taught me in farming was if you don't have good soil, you don't have anything. To have the wines being organic was absolutely the bottom line. Since we started this organic farming method, the forest somehow looks better. There are more birds. The whole thing has become very full of life. I like to have our friends here. It's a great place to share. And I love the feeling of giving our wine to a guest who maybe looks skeptical. And that skepticism turning to marveling at how great this wine is. Picking up an instrument to him is it's like you and I you know, have a sense of our bodies that you can run your fingers through your hair. Not an instant like, oh, I'm going to marry you one day. I had no idea. But we did, 25 years ago. You remember me when the west wind moves upon the fields of body. And you forget the sun in a jealous sky. With this wine here, we wanted to do something that was unique, that could only be grown here, in this soil, in this salivation, with this particular grape, this angle of the sun. The reason I think that's important is because I feel the same way about music. The fact that it is unique gives it its value. We want to create a wine here that does the same. 